Today, I'm foraging mushrooms for the very first time, but it happens to rain a lot. Despite getting soaked and my glasses fogging up nearly every minute, it was a magical experience I'll never forget. Being surrounded by nature is always good for the soul. Good morning! It is Saturday around 7.30 a.m. and I'm super excited because in just a bit, we're gonna be mushroom foraging. But it's forecasted to rain all day long, so this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna get very wet out there. So why go foraging today? We're going to Monroe, Washington to take a mushroom identification class. Ready or not, let's go! been wanting and waiting to forage mushrooms for a while, but I didn't know anyone experienced or interested enough to go with. So I'm hoping this class will give me a boost of confidence through hands-on learning. It's becoming more of like an invasive mushroom species here, pushing other things out. They kind of feel structured in there, huh? <laughs> Are they not typical oysters? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta poke it. Hold the mushroom. Ooh. Yeah. Is it a little old? It's not. Part of the mushroom hunting adventure involves climbing over fallen trees, then going under them. So you gotta look up, down, and sideways for mushrooms and obstacles. Mushrooms on logs. Mushrooms on twigs. Mushrooms popping out from the ground. Did you know there are over 10,000 species of mushrooms in the world? Other sources say over 50,000 species. Wow, wow, wee wow. I need a windshield wiper for my glasses and for my camera. Right, so we're all gonna be scattered for about 20 minutes. Take my mask off because it's fogging up my glasses so much. It is possible to get lost because especially with the rain, it's not as easy to hear snapping of twigs um, and tiny people. So I'm not going to get too adventurous. I'm going to stay near everyone. So what we're going to do, we're going to just get a bunch of mushrooms, bring it back to the class indoors, and then ID it. You want to be sure what that mushroom is before eating it. But some mushrooms can be fatal. They just give you a really hard time. It's been quite dry lately, but last night it poured. You know, in a couple of days there's going to be more mushrooms. It's a bit of a scavenger hunt. Ooh, something here. These ones look a little bit old though. Let's see, let's go over here, see what we can find. So I found these, but on this branch, this twig, there's three more. We were told not just look down, but look up as well. But I guess I shouldn't go too up because I wouldn't be able to go up there. Ooh. There's some more mushrooms on this tree. And if you go up, smaller ones. I am so soaked. <laughs> There's water going in my pants. Somehow it's going in my pants. I don't know how that happened. If you end up going foraging mushrooms on a rainy day and you wear glasses, I would recommend wearing contacts, contact lens, because this is difficult to walk around with your vision blurred. We have a long dead tree on the ground. It's a bunch of small mushrooms. They're so cute. So fancy and so cute. Aside from getting lost and losing the group, um, my biggest fear would be bumping into spider webs. The spiders, they camouflage so well into the trees. I see something over there. Wow, look at that. What is it? I wish I could use my other camera and get really close, detailed, sharp shots, but um, the other cameras are not waterproof. And when I was using it early, it was getting super wet. There's a lot of teeny ones over here. Very teeny. 
they're just like specks. Oh, I see a bunch over here. I found a ton of baby mushrooms and someone found a chanterelle. It was challenging to spot mushrooms with my glasses constantly getting wet and foggy. Thankfully, our instructor pointed out a chanterelle and I happily hopped on over to it. Here is a family of inky caps. Man, my shoes, my hiking boots, they got soaked completely inside. I wore thermal leggings under my pants and that, those got wet somehow too. The water from the leggings dripped into my hiking boots. That's how they got wet. And now we're gonna identify all that we collected using our mushroom handbooks. Remember the mushroom I cut from the protruding twig? It's either a Polyporus badius or Melanopus. Someone found a baby version of it. I must say, this is one of the most aesthetic twigs I've ever seen. And Mother Nature wasn't even trying. She was just being. Look at this natural beauty. Might be Foliotus. This tiny mushroom is a Mycena. And this guy we couldn't identify, but it looks and feels like a tongue. Chanterelle is my prized possession of the day. And here's an oyster mushroom I inherited from the instructor. Did you hear that? The thunder. <gasps> really chilly. My clothes are still wet. A fellow classmate was kind enough and he gave me a sweater. This one. Mismatching socks, but clean. So nice. Yeah, because I don't have any socks right now. Whew, yeah, I'm, I'm like shaking. Oh, I love this color. I'm gonna always keep this in the car for future times when I get in a situation like this again. When it gets cold, I end up like tightening all my muscles, but you have to like loosen your muscles to actually feel a little bit warmer and to stop shivering. I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat this. Actually, before it rains hard, I should hit the road. Gotta defrost everything first. Right. Oh, thankfully it's raining even less now. Okay, back is still defrosting. The first portion of the class, we were indoors. And when I say indoors, well, all the doors and the windows were open. So there was plenty of ventilation because of the, you know, COVID is still going on. During the presentation, I was taking notes in my notebook. I felt like I was in high school again, or college. Just school in general, I felt like I was in school again. And just feeling like a student made me feel young. I'm learning, learning about stuff that I'm interested in. Now, with mushrooms, I don't mind studying hours and taking an exam. Wow, look at that fog in the trees. It's not like foggy all over, just patches of fog. I am so excited to go home do some laundry, maybe even take a bath, snuggle with a book in bed, hot chocolate or herbal tea. Oh, that sounds so delicious right now. Whew. We were advised to not go alone when mushroom hunting because when you go mushroom hunting, sometimes you go off the trail, so you might get lost. And it is mushroom season, so we gotta do as much hunting we can while the time is here. Honestly, I have some fear about picking some mushrooms like because some of them are fatal So I'm scared of you know getting the wrong mushroom and eating it and getting hospitalized or potentially dying So that's why I took this class because I want to gain more confidence I needed someone to introduce me the world of foraging mushrooms It really helps to have someone go with you to feel the mushroom to see the mushroom starting is the hardest part because once you get started you're like oh okay i get it i get the basic concept then you just develop from there looks like the rain is starting up again <sighs> so many trees what a moody weather earlier it was thundering and now it's sunny again before foraging mushrooms, be sure to check the restrictions of your intended spot and confirm if you need any permits. Read up on best practices and mushrooms in your area. Have fun hanging out in nature, but be absolutely certain of the mushroom's identity before eating it. 
Just about to cook the chanterelle, I think it's my first time eating it. I read online to pan fry them dry. I know it's just a few pieces, but we were advised not to get too many edible mushrooms because you want to try it first and see if it reacts well to your body. Because not all people have the same reaction to all foods. So we're going to give the chanterelle a taste test and make sure our body can handle it. And next time, we'll get more chanterelle. Oh, it already shrunk so much. I try not to cook in an empty pan like this, but we don't have a smaller one. I hear it's sizzling. Let's throw in some butter. Let's also throw in the oyster mushroom on the side. Ta-da! Ah! How is it? Very good. It's a very subtle, savory flavor. It's like a gentle pasta. Gentle, creamy pasta. Maybe because of the butter. Okay, oysters next. Ah, uh, you know, I cooked oyster mu uh, mushrooms many times. Uh, you need to mix it with other vegetable. It's a bit firmer texture. For today's cooking, I made it very simple because I wanted to taste the mushroom. Next time, we're gonna put it in something. Um... What's your favorite mushroom and how do you like to cook it? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. Last night, it was pouring rain. Oh, it sounded so beautiful. Now, when I sleep, I always wear earplugs. But in the first hour or so, I just I had it out because I just wanted to listen. The pitter-patter on the roof. And I was worried this class would get canceled because of the rain. But I emailed them yesterday. I was like, is this going to happen regardless of rain? And they're like, yes. So I was like, oh, thank you. Oh, I see some cows over there. Woohoo! Must be so nice and quiet living out here. So beautiful. I'm really feeling autumn here with all these orange leaves. Ugh, pothole. More potholes. Ugh. Oh yeah, polyporous. But different, different species. <laughs> oh, it's like the hard ones. The shelf ones. Um, shelf? Yeah, I think it's shelf. 